So a good mate of mine shot these two deers and um, ate them and he gave me some steaks and some sausages and they were pretty good. So he wanted me to mount them for him and uh, you know it's not something I have a great amount of experience at but uh, I thought I'd give it a go for him. So <laughs> here we are. I'll just give you a bit of a look. I've still got the skin on them. My mate Rob just cut the, scab, uh, the caps off with an axe, so they're pretty rough. Still got a fair bit of tissue there. So I thought I'd just start by removing as much of that as I could. Then I'm going to boil them and then pressure wash them, cut them to the shape I want, and then boil them in some hydrogen peroxide to whiten them, and then mount them to uh, a wooden mountain plate. So let's, let's start, let's give it a go. They sort of stink a bit too. <laughs> So that set's been in there for about 20 minutes. I'll take it out and uh, saw it. As you can see, I'm just using my forge to uh, heat this stainless steel pot. Seems to be working pretty well. And that's where the brain was. Still in there a little bit. Ooh. How am I going to do this? Done. So there the two sets are after being boiled and pressure washed. This one came up quite clean, real clean. This one here still has uh, some soft tissue in it on it. But I'm hoping the um, peroxide will knock that off, turn it jelly. So yeah, now I'm about to put them both in a peroxide solution. So I've had to horns in there for about 10 minutes and they're nice and white so I'm going to take them out give them a pressure wash and then uh, just quickly put them back in for a couple minutes and uh, they should be done
Now this is a tricky bit, how to attach that to the base and drill the holes and put the screws in. So I put the horns on and just traced around it, then got the center of the horn, made a mark. Now I'm just going to approximate the angle. That's all I can do with it. I think that'll work. Drilling bone stinks. Uh, so they're all finished and um, they came up mint and I'm a little bit jealous that at least one of them isn't mine but oh well. I hope my mate appreciates them and as always thanks for watching.